Dawadu versus Julian Rosa. Call it luck. Call it a career re- resurgence. But Julian Rosa has pulled off his career, pulled his career out of the depths of the UFC roster. After a one and four run where he got KO'd in three of those fights, he bounced back with a four and one run for himself. Um, that being said, and this is this is big. He has been knocked down in three fights in this four and one run and miraculously was able to recover in them, which it's just crazy. And that can only go on for so long. Um, in Arosa's last 10 fights, he's been knocked down in seven of those fights. His chin is very questionable. He's had a, he's, he's, but he's had a good run. His striking's very high volume. He's landed over a hundred significant strikes in three out of his last five. He's got great cardio. He's relentless and he's tough as nails. He comes back, you know, from the dead. You, you think a guy would be out, but he, but he gets back to his feet. It's pretty crazy. He's taken on Akeem Dawadu, who's 4-1 in his last 5-2, with uh, his only loss coming from Mazvar Evloev. And Dawadu actually weathered the storm of Evloev and won the third round one-sidedly. And um, it, it, was, it was actually pretty good to see. Dawadu is a kickboxer, very technical striking. He's got a plus 2.7 striking differential at 50% accuracy. Um, he wins overwhelmingly by decision. He's got great cardio, fights very smart. And, uh, yeah, I think this one is all mean Hakeem Dawadu. I, I, you just can't trust. It's not necessarily that Dawadu is the heaviest hitter, but I just, you know, Julian Rosa's chin is going to run out. You know, it's impossible to keep it. You know, he, obviously, over the past, whatever the span of 10 fights was, you know, three or four years, you know, getting knocked down seven times is just not a good sign. And I think his luck is is going to run out. So I'm going to go with Hakeem Dawadu. Dawadu.